And Wall Street's pay czar, Ken Feinberg, capped pay at some of the biggest financial firms that got the TARP money. But what about those bailed out firms that didn't answer to him? Well, Bloomberg czar Burton is here now to explain how some CEOs of those smaller firms are still raking it in, Zara. Yeah, and so what we did, Lori, we went through all the firms still sitting on public money of more than $500 million, and most of these guys are, in fact, cutting pay of their CEOs. But four of the 17 companies that we looked at show that the total compensation actually increased for these CEOs. And the banks that we want to mention, Fifth Third Bank, whose CEO saw a 58% increase, M&T saw a whopping 233% increase, First Horizon, whose CEO definitely raked it in, increased increasing beast on a preliminary proxy filing and key corp also preliminary their chief seeing a hefty increase as well now as far as some of these increases they are stock grants for the most part which means they'll get paid based on how the company's stock does in the long term but if you look at the salary portions as well they also went up most significantly at fifth third key corp and first horizon now first horizon says the increase was because their ceo was promoted to the post late in 2008 key corp hasn't returned our call and Fifth Third was basically saying that a big part of their salary, salary, his salary, I should say, was phantom stock, which basically means that pay will be deferred. But bear in mind, all these companies, despite all of these explanations, had losses in the last quarter, have not paid back their TARP money, and all of them, except First Horizon, have actually underperformed the broader market last year in terms of their shares, Lori. So what does the Treasury have to say about all this? Some pretty interesting <laughs> findings you're putting forward there. Yeah, and they're saying basically they will not comment on the individual banks, but they've issued guidelines on pay that must be followed. And all these banks say that they are within those guidelines. In fact, I had one um, analyst look at this as well, and she was telling me pretty much the same thing. Now, their guidelines, let's get into that for a second, because one of them, limiting bonus payments to protect taxpayer investments. They talk about curtailing payment of golden parachutes, imposing clubs backs for any bonus based on what they deem materially inaccurate performance criteria and they give shareholders say on pay but as far as the individual oversight of these banks we know Ken Feinberg who is the pay czar his jurisdiction jurisdiction is the extraordinary support guys you're talking about firms like Citigroup AIG and Bank of America and Jeannie Brandhover she's a compensation expert and uh, a recruiter for these executives she was telling me as well that it is curious that they're not getting as much oversight and we could this could be part of the reason why you're seeing pay increase like we're seeing.